Hi, my name is Matt Landsberg. I'm president of Eric Finn Custom Clothiers. We make custom suits, custom shirts, and a host of other custom garments for executives, attorneys, athletes, and professional entertainers. We've been featured in a number of uh, area publications, including the Washington Post and uh, probably a dozen other uh, publications, and serve primarily Washington, Washington D.C., New York, and Miami. Today we're going to talk about how to have a custom suit, how to purchase a custom suit, how to have it fit well, what to look for when buying a custom suit, including, including quality aspects of it. If you choose to have something made custom, how to find a good tailor, and ultimately how to take care of your suit. Next we're going to talk about and we're going to show what an ill-fitting suit looks like. Here we've got Bryce wearing a shirt uh, bought off the rack that's a little too bit too big in the waist. That's the first glaring issue I see. So here he's got all kinds of extra room and if you were to tuck it in there'd be all kinds of blousing and it would look uh, fairly poor. Um, what you want to do for this is take this to your your local tailor, a quality tailor uh, that works on clothes frequently and have it adjusted. Um, it's not something that costs tremendously uh, a lot of money but probably around twenty to twenty five dollars per shirt. The other thing I see here is the sleeve is pretty long on Bryce. You've got a lot of extra br uh, bunching here, and so you can have this shortened as well by, by a qualified tailor. The other uh, glaring aspect I see is a watch. He's got a larger watch, and at the cuff, the cuff doesn't uh, cover the watch. What you can do to your, uh, with your tailor as well is have them take off the button and reestablish it where it's slightly bigger so it slides over the watch. And the shoulders, it fits pretty well, and then the neck, it fits pretty well also. Uh, you ideally want to get about one finger in there. If it's too tight, obviously you're going to strangle yourself. If it's too full, it looks sloppy. Next thing we'll do is talk about the suit and how it should fit uh, the jacket. So this jacket as a whole is just a little too, bit, too big for Bryce. First thing I notice is it's too full in the chest here. So you've got a little bit of buckling, especially if he's not standing completely straight. You've got all kinds of extra, extra fabric here. Um, it's not too bad in the shoulders, but just a hair big. You can, might be able to see that I'm pinching uh, a little bit extra shoulder padding. Ideally, that shouldn't be the case. The biggest and most glaring issue about this jacket is he's got way too much room in the waist. A lot of times when somebody buys a suit off the rack, it's going to be too big in the waist. If you don't get a quality tailor to adjust it, uh, then that's going to be too full. But again, this is something that can be pulled in on the side uh, of, of the jacket. The sleeves, of this, uh, the sleeves of this jacket are too short. You can see, you can even see the, the button. And again, this, the shirt sleeve is too long, but the jacket is too short. Ideally, what you want to show is about a quarter inch of shirt sleeve underneath the jacket uh, sleeve. In this case, again, because the, because the shirt is not coming over top of the watch, you can't see any sleeve at all. Again, these are all things that should be considered when buying a suit, and once you have the suit, having them altered properly. The other thing about this jacket is it's too long. Tailoring is very much about balance and proportion. The jacket uh, should be basically should cut the wearer in half. So from behind the neck to the floor, if for example that's 60 inches, your jacket length should be about 30 inches. This one is is too long and it makes uh, Bryce's legs look shorter. So there's a lot of illusion there. Um, so this is one of those things where you can have the jacket shortened, or ideally, if you're buying off the rack, you should look. You know what to look for with the with the right jacket length. Next thing that's very glaring about this, and we see it frequently, is the trousers he's wearing is too long. You can see here it's buckling both in the front, so it's not even a, a proper break as it should be, but it's altogether buckling. If he turns 90 degrees here, you can see how it is in the back. It's buckling and it's dragging along the, along the back. That's another very simple thing for a tailor to fix, but it's one of those things that really needs to be paid attention to, and it shows you're paying attention, you're polished to your overall appearance. And here we can see that the, uh, that the trousers are too short. Some people might refer to this as high water or wearing high waters. Uh, this is one of those cases where the, the trousers clearly need to be lengthened, and in this case, a good two or three inches. And here you can see from the back how high it is. Now, ideally, it's going to go basically right above the, right above the heel. And uh, once that's corrected, 
you shouldn't have a problem. Now, if you're buying something off the rack and it's significantly short like this, you might want to check the inside of the trouser to make sure that there's enough fabric where it can be let out. One last thing I'm going to show, turn Bryce 90 degrees here, is frequently in this suit particular isn't too bad, but a lot of guys you see a collar roll right here. That's an, another fairly easy thing to fix. Again, however, I take it to a qualified tailor, and what they're going to do is lower the collar and take out this extra fabric so everything lays smooth around the back. Next, we're going to show how a suit should fit properly. To watch the other segments in this video series, or for how-to videos on almost any other topic, visit monkeysee.com.